on the nail, you know. We have to do what's right. Amen. We do. Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, tonight, amen, I'd like to start there in Philippians chapter 2. It says, if there be, verse 1, it says, if there be therefore any consolation in Christ, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any bowels and mercies, fulfill ye my joy that ye be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord and of one mind. Let nothing be done through strife or vain glory, but in lowliness of mind, let yeah. each esteem other better than themselves. Amen. Look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God. But made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was yeah. made in the likeness of yeah. men. Yeah. And being found in fashion as man, as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Praise be to Jesus yeah. Christ. Amen. Yeah. Amen. You know, he came to this earth for one reason and one reason only. Amen. So that you and I could have oh, eternal yes. life. Yes. Amen. Amen. And he, he paid the ultimate price by giving his life. Amen. They didn't yes. take it. Amen. He gave it. Amen. Yes. And I'm telling you, amen, if he can surrender himself for you and I, we need to surrender ourselves for him. Amen. Yes. I'll tell you, amen, we need to surrender ourselves for one another. Amen. And become that servant just as Jesus did. Amen. Hallelujah, this is the key verse for tonight's message. It says, Wherefore God, verse 9, Wherefore God has also highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, and of the things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Amen. To the glory of the Fa yeah. God the Father. Amen. Amen. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have also obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Amen. Yeah. Let's go to the Lord again tonight. Amen. And word of prayer, Father God. We thank you for your word tonight, God. We know, God, without your word, we're nothing, God. And we need your word tonight, God. God, we ask you to plant it upon the tables of our heart tonight. Help us to meditate upon it day and night, God. God, as Sandra said this morning, to chew on it, God, just like a nugget, God. And get the fat thereof off of it, God. God, help us all, God. God, to receive your word with gladness tonight, God. And I'll give you praise. And glory and honor in Jesus' mighty name. We pray every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Amen. You know the thing about it, you can do it now or you can do it on day of judgment. Amen. Right. You're going to do it one way or one place or the other. Amen. You might as well go ahead and humble yourself, amen, and, and confess him as Lord and Savior. If you've not done so, amen, tonight would be a good night to do it, amen. I can tell you right now, amen, that Jesus took it closer than a brother, amen. Oh, he's the best friend I ever had, amen. He shows up in the midnight hour when no one else is around, amen. Come on, yeah. I'm telling you, amen, he's never left me nor forsaken me, amen, and never will, amen. And why? Because he's a good God. Amen. And he knows what's best for us. Amen. Even though you at times think that you know what's best, let me tell you God knows what's ahead of you. Amen. And he sent his son. Amen. To pay that ultimate price. Amen. That you too could be a servant. Amen. That you too could serve. Amen. Until the days of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Bible says in Philippians 1 and 6, be confident of this very thing that we 
week. He has begun a good work in you that he will perform it until the days of Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm telling you, you can't go wrong with Jesus. Amen. You can go wrong without him. Amen. But you can't go wrong with him. Amen. I'm telling you, amen, we've got to do that which is right. Amen. And overcome the things of the world. Amen. And be more like Christ. Amen. Micah 6 and 8 says, He has showed thee, O man, what is good. And what doeth the Lord require of thee? But to do justly, listen, this is what he requires is for us to do justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with thy God. Amen. Come on. I want to tell you, amen, you can get a proud and boastful spirit, amen, if you want to, amen. But I'm telling you, pride's not fattening, amen. You need to just take a bite out of it and go ahead and humble yourself and ask God to help you, amen, amen, to be who he's called you to be, amen. I'll tell you, amen, the Bible tells us not to afflict one another, amen, or offend, if you would. Listen to these scriptures, amen. This is found in Romans 13 and 6, 10. It says, Love worketh no ill to his neighbor, therefore love is the fulfilling of the law, amen. We have to learn to love one another, amen. I said we have to learn to love one another, amen. Just because you met me don't mean you love me. Amen. Right. You may not like some of the things that I do or the way that I act, but you have to learn to love me if you're going to be a child of the King. Amen. Amen. Do you understand that? Amen. Yeah. I'll tell you, Jesus and God don't like our sins, but He loves us. Amen. Yeah. He loved us so much. God loved us so much. His creation, amen. He loved us so much that he sent his son for you and I, amen. So that we too can make it home one day, amen. I want you to know, amen, God's a good God, isn't he, amen. But he's also a just God, amen. And God expects us to choose to do that which is right. Excuse me, over that which is wrong, amen. Come on. Amen. Yes. So many times we falter and fail because our flesh wants what's wrong when our spirit man is trying to get us to do what's right. Amen. And if we don't stay prayed up and read up like we should, we'll give in to those temptations. Amen. And we'll be overtaken in a fall. Amen. And stumble. Amen. There's stumbling blocks out there. And they're, they're to keep us from growing and prospering in God. Amen. Amen. But God wants us to learn to walk in love one with another. Amen. Amen. I'm telling you, perfect love casting out all fear. Amen. 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 And he that walketh in love knows God, don't he? Yes. Yes. But if you claim to know God and don't have love, then you don't have God at all. And to say God is love. Amen. Amen. And I've heard and I've seen people through church, amen, day in and day out, they say they love one another, but then behind their backs, they would talk about one another. Come on, Bite and devour one another. Yes. Put one another down. Amen. To God, that's an abomination. Amen. Amen. He hates a backbiter. Amen. So if you're backbiting tonight, amen, maybe not right this minute, but you've been backbiting, talking about your brother or sister or your pastor, amen, shame on you. Amen. Let me tell you what you need to do is you need to repent, ask God to forgive you. Go to that person, crucify your flesh, let them know that you've been talking about it. Well, I wouldn't do that, Brother Derek. They don't know it. Well, if you're going to overcome it, best thing for you to do is expose it. Come on amen. now. Don't hide it, amen. That's true. I'm telling you, just go to embarrassing your flesh. Your flesh will quit causing you problems. Amen. Amen. That's what Jesus did when he walked up the pathway of Calvary, amen. He crucified his flesh for you and I. Why won't we do it for him or for one another? Because we love ourselves more than we love our brother. It's getting quiet in here. Come on now. That tells me that some are under conviction. Amen. 
I want to encourage you, amen, if you get convicted under any of these words, this message, amen, it's your duty to God to run to Him and humble yourself and cry out to Him, amen. God Himself will not make you do that. You have to choose to be humble, amen. 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 To live right. To be a child of God. You have to choose to do that. Yes. See, God will not make you but when you do, you know what? God honors an humble spirit. Amen. A humble spirit, God, and no wise shall turn away. Amen. Amen. Good preaching, like Sanders said this Amen. morning. Come on now. James 1 and 27 says, pure religion. This is where I want to get most of all. Amen. A lot of times we as children of God take on a religious spirit. Come on now. Yes. And we no longer be a child of God, but we begin to become religion. Amen? Amen. We become, begin to become so righteous that we're holy and no one else can meet our standards. Yes. Amen? It's not about you and I, by the way. Amen? It's about Jesus yes. Christ. He's the one that has a name above all names. Amen? He's the one that God chose to send to crucify himself for you and I. Amen? He's the one that shed his blood upon Calvary and gave himself, amen, for you and for I. Amen? Yes. Jesus Christ did that. Amen? amen? Because he knew the will of the Father. What about you? Do you know the will of the Father for your life? Amen. Are you walking upright before God and you've not taken on a religious spirit? Pure religion and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to visit the fatherless and widows in their afflictions and to keep himself unspotted from the world. Unspotted means without sin. Amen holy and righteous. How many in this room tonight can lift their hands and say that I'm holy and righteous? Amen. You better be careful. Amen. 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 You know, we want to say that we're okay. Mm -hmm. Everyone in here wants to say that they're okay. But are you? Are you really Walking right before God right now? Are you being who God's called you to be? Come on. See, only you can answer that. God already knows. But it's up to you. You need to search your own heart. Today Come on now. And say, where am I at, God? God, am I in right standings with you? All of us would like to think that we are. But let's don't lie to ourselves. Amen. Be, be honest to yourself and to God for for once. Amen. Search your own heart tonight and say, am I doing what God you would have me to do? Am I being the way that you'd have? Am I serving you like you want me to serve you? Am I staying humble as you would have me to be? Or have I taken on a prideful spirit? Have I took on a spirit of religion? Amen. Am I no longer a child of God? Was you once on fire and no longer on fire? Has the fire went out? Amen. Let me just ask you these things tonight. Get you to thinking, amen, to get you to inspect yourself maybe a little bit harder than normal. Amen. Yes, amen. Daniel said normal's not working. Let's get weird. Amen. 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 You know, I'd, I'd much rather have Jesus than have anything in this world. Yes, amen. 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 What about you? I wrote this down. We can be religious and still be lost. A lot of lost religions in church. Amen. Amen. Now, I ain't said none of you are lost. But I'm saying, amen, if you like sin and you're calling yourself a child of God, then let me tell you, you're still lost. Amen. God hates sin. Amen. He has nothing to do with sin. So if you're compromising tonight, amen, then maybe you need to run to an old-fashioned altar and cry out to Jesus and have him help you not to compromise. He'll help you. 
but he'll only help those that are willing. Willing to what? To humble themselves. To become who he's called them to be. Amen. Yeah. To push self aside. Amen. I wrote this down. Religion kills. But Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And there's no other way except for truth. Jesus. That's right. Amen. Amen. You can't no other way to heaven. Amen. Your money will not get you there. Your good looks won't make you there. Make it there. Amen. I'm telling you, amen, it's going to take Jesus Christ in your life. Amen. And without him, I'll just go ahead and tell you you're lost and undone. You're not going to make it. That's right. You've got to have Jesus. There is nothing Jesus can't do. Amen. Amen. There's not a thing that he can't do. There's not a storm today that too big, amen, that he can't handle. There's not a valley too deep that he can't walk in. Amen. Amen. There's no mountain too tall that he can't find you. Amen. There's not a prison door that can hold you too deep, too right. tight that Jesus can't get to you. That's amen. right. That's right. I want you to know today there's nothing that Jesus can't do. Amen. Not a thing. That he can't do. There's nowhere that you can hide from him. Amen. He sees and hears all things. There's nothing yeah. hidden from him. You may have it hidden from me. You may have it hidden from your spouse or your best friend or your mom and dad. Amen. You may have things covered up so well that no one knows but Jesus knows. Come on now. Amen. Yes, Amen. Amen. Here to encourage you to choose to do what's right over that which is wrong. Amen. God blesses the just and the unjust. He does. Amen. He does. We can read over in Matthew. He can do what he wants. Chapter 5 or 45 or so. Amen. And it tells us. He can want some As a matter of fact, <laughs> I'm going to turn there. Really I've had it done to me. I know. Make sure that's where it's at. Amen. Say, to tell you something that's not where it's at. Put a whooping on you, son. Let amen. me just check to see if that's where it's that's at. I believe it is. Amen. Mean, yeah. Matthew 5, verse 43, it says, you, you have heard that it has been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thy enemy. But I say, this is what Jesus said, it's all in red. It says, but I say unto you, love your enemies. Bless them that curse you. Do good to them that hate you and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. Do you do these things? Do you do these things? Amen. Or have you put on a form of godliness and denying the power thereof? Amen? Are you calling yourself a Christian but yet you're not truly being who God wants you to be? Amen? See, we have to stay humble. Amen? We, do. we have to stay at the feet of Jesus. We have to do things God's way, not our way. Got to be his way. Amen. That he may be that, listen, verse 45 says, let me just go ahead, verse 44 says, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you, that he may be the children of your Father which is in heaven, for he maketh his son to rise on the evil and on the good, and send it rain on the just and on the unjust. Amen. For if you love them which love you, what reward have you? Do not even the publicans the same? And if you salute your brethren only, what do you more than others? Do not even the publicans so be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. So what do you got to do? You got to lift those up that persecute you. You got to love them anyway, Sandra. Amen. You got to learn to pray for them. Amen. Ask God to help them. Bless them. That's what a child of God will do. Right, man. Amen. Now there's nothing wrong to depart your ways and one go one way and one go the other. Amen. As long as it's in the will of God. What do you mean, Brother Derek? Amen. Now I'm not talking about marriage. Amen. I'm talking about people getting along. Amen. Now let's rightly divide the word of truth. Amen. Amen. 
So many people think this day and time that they can get married and just because things ain't working out, they can just get a divorce and it's all right. But that ain't God's word. Amen? Right. We have to learn that when we make a vow that we keep that vow right. as a child of God. Amen? Amen? But when you can't get along with someone and you pray for that person, and they keep on hindering you, amen, then it's best that you get away from them. Amen? amen? Do you understand what I'm saying? Amen? Because some people take on spirits, amen? The Bible says that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against spiritual wickedness, against powers of darkness in high places. In other words, we wrestle against the devil. Amen? Come on. You're not wrestling with that person. What you're wrestling with is a spirit that has inhabited that person. Amen? And you can't, you're no battle for the devil. Amen? Amen. Jesus is the one that overcome death, hell, and the grave. Amen? Amen? Amen. His word gives us power. Amen. It does. That's why Jesus said, for it is written. It is written, yes. Sanders said this morning, that's some powerful word there, for it is written. Amen. Amen. It means it can't be changed, brother. Man, when we stand on the word of God and his promises, we'll see things come to pass. It's when you're not willing to place the Word of God there, amen, and stand on it, amen, that you encounter temptations and trials and tribulations, amen, and you be, be overtaken in a fall, amen, amen. because you wasn't willing to humble yourself and let God take over, amen? amen. This is what people call themselves... Christians, but they're bound with religion. Amen? Come on. I can prove this to you because we have passage about the scribes and the Pharisees, which are religious people. Amen? And how that they brought an adulterous woman unto Jesus. And they said, Jesus, this woman was caught in the very act of adultery. And, and by the law of Moses, it says that we're to stone this woman to death. What do you say? And Jesus stooped down and he drawed a line in the sand. So I, I'll just go ahead and tell you what I think. I think he was pointing at the devil and he said, this is you, see. <laughs> now I don't know that that's what he was doing, but I got a right to think of what I think. Amen. Now I didn't tell you that's what he was doing. I said, this is what I think. I think he was pointing at the devil. And I said, I know this is you. <laughs> Put his finger in the dirt. He draw a line. You know, you two need to learn to draw a line. Come on. Right. Between right and wrong. That's right. Amen. That's right. We need to do what's right and overcome that which is wrong. And the only way you're going to overcome that which is wrong by not giving in to the temptation of the devil. Amen. So Jesus as he was down on, the, on his knees and had his finger in the dirt, amen, he looked up and he said, if any among you have not sinned, you'd be the first to cast the first stone. Come on. Then he put his finger back in the dirt. Began to draw that line again. When he looked up, Levon, he said, where are all the accusers? And the woman says, I have none but you, Lord. And what did Jesus say? Neither do I. He Go said, thy neither way. do I. I. That's what he said. Go thy way and sin no more. See, see how much love yep. and compassion that Jesus had? Knowing the woman had been caught in the very act of adultery, but he automatically forgave her. He said, neither do I. That's right. And then he told her what to do. Go and sin no more. Right. Go the way and sin no more. Amen. That's the God that we serve. Amen. A God of love. A God of compassion 
and concern, amen, about one's soul, amen, that he wants to make sure yes. that all can make their way to heaven, amen. He came into this world that you too may make yourself a place in heaven, amen, amen. when you leave this walks of earth. But you too got to choose to draw a line in the sand and choose to do what's right yes. over that which is wrong. That's right. Amen. Amen. I hope that this is speaking under your hearts tonight. Amen. And drawing you close to yes. God because there's nothing Jesus can't do. Amen. Amen. It is all about Jesus Christ and Him crucified. If it is about anyone or anything else, it is religion. That's right. Or it's in vain. It's no good for nothing. Religion kills. It's idolatry. Come on. But Jesus brings life. And he brings it more abundantly. Amen. I want to encourage you to walk under the power and the anointing of Jesus Christ. Amen. Surrender yourself unto him tonight. Amen. And make him Lord and Savior of your life. Amen. If you faltered and failed him in any way, then I want you to repent and ask God to forgive you. I can't make you do this. You couldn't make me do this. Amen. But I can encourage you to let go and let God tonight. Amen. And that's what I want to do. Amen. I want to know, amen, that before we leave this walk of earth, amen, that I too can make heaven my home and you too can too. Amen. Amen. That's what I'm here for tonight is to encourage you to let go and let God. Yes. Amen. Quit holding on to the old man. Come on. Let him go and let God. Amen. There is no one like Jesus in our life except for Jesus Christ. There's no one that can compare to him. I don't have to care how good a friend you think you have here upon this earth. He can't do what Jesus, or she can't do what Jesus can do. Amen? I wrote this down. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is no name above his name. Amen. I've already read these two scriptures. I'm going to read them again here in a minute. But I want to go back to the woman that had committed adultery. When Jesus said, neither do I accuse you, go and sin no more. That settled it. Yes. What she had done was forgotten. Amen. Wiped away. Come on. It was gone. She had a brand new beginning. She could either do what was right or do what was wrong. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you tonight, amen, that same commitment that he made to her. He makes to you too tonight. Amen. All you got to do is run and humble yourself unto him and say, Lord, forgive Amen. me. Mm. Help me, Lord, to be more like you. Help me to be that servant that you called me to be. Amen. Philippians 2 and 9 said what? It says, wherefore God has also highly exalted him who? Jesus Christ. And given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow Amen. of things in heaven and things in earth and the things under the earth. And every tongue shall confess, should confess that Jesus Christ, Christ is Lord, Lord to the right. glory of God the Father. Amen. I want to encourage you tonight. Amen. I'm through. Anybody got a song? You got a song, Dustin? Go ahead. Crucified my flesh. I'll tell you that. God delivered me from the spirit of blood. Amen. I want to pray that I can save it. Yeah. He's still on God. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Come on up, George. Amen. Praise the Lord. I believe that we need an altar call tonight. Amen. Amen. Now don't come because I said that. Come because you feel the need.
to make things right with God. Amen? Amen. Amen. If there's anything that you know that God's not pleased with that you've been hiding in your life, amen? This is your time to get free from it, amen? amen. What do I got to do, Brother Derek? You just got to run to Jesus. You just, I'm not going to bring you, amen? I'm not going to come get you. I'm not going to beg you, amen? I'm just going to tell you this altar is open, amen? And what you've got to do is take that step of faith. Say, look, I need help. I've been wrestling with this long enough. And I want God to deliver me, to heal me, to set me free. Amen. I want to make sure that I'm right with Him. Because if I were to leave this walk to birth, I don't know if this would keep me from making heaven my home. Amen. If you're here tonight. Have one stand and say, they got delivered from a spirit of lust. That was a bold statement to stand up in front of people, amen, and crucify his own flesh, amen. I'm telling you, Jesus set an example for you and I to crucify our flesh, amen, to expose sin. I don't want to know what you're wrestling with. God already knows. But if you'll just bring it to him tonight, amen. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Amen. There's one. God's going to wash you, Courtney, and cleanse you. Hallelujah. You never know what one might be doing with us. Amen. But God's going to The Bible says to know to do right and not to do it sin. You can be the one sitting here tonight that won't study, won't read their Bible. Amen. God dealt with you. There's time he said, I want you to read. And you chose not to. Amen. It's that simple. Amen. Sin sin. Amen. We're not putting no gratification on it what how big or how small it is it's just sin amen if you're in neglect to serve him i tell you amen i need god to help me amen because i want to be all that he would have me to be amen these children down here tonight people come and i'm letting them because they want to be the child of God that God's called them to be. Amen. I can't do it without Him and neither can you. Amen. But you've got to humble yourself. No one can make you humble yourself. God Himself will not make you humble yourself. But if you'll run to Jesus with a broken heart and contract spirit and no why. Shall he turn you away? That's what the Lord said. I believe his word, don't you? Amen. Hallelujah, Sun. 